He had a little bit more breakdown post-impact than he's accustomed to seeing as opposed to there. Now what I want you to feel is I want you to feel like there's just zero club head moving past this wrist, right? Mm -hmm. Just completely holding it as best mm -hmm. you can. You know, the minute that this thing gets disconnected, the club goes through there like this, and you just you can't stop the momentum of it and it breaks down. If you get those two matched up, you're gonna be in business, okay? Mm -hmm. It just looks like through, through the bottom of the swing. Like it's like, it looks like it's gonna be really good. And then you just get right here and it just goes, it just kinda, it looks like it just gets released like right there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't just keep moving through. Yeah. Does that make sense? You know, and, and it's like the backswing just got a lot better, but it's like you're releasing that club out to it. And when that happens, typically, the spin will come off the golf ball because you're taking away the hands at the bottom, okay? And one thing that he noticed about his own swing was that he had a little bit more breakdown post-impact than he's accustomed to seeing as opposed to there. Now that's for a reason, something, something's causing that. Some disconnection in the swing is causing that, whether his body is getting out in front of it, either laterally or rotationally, that forces the hands to play catch up, adds a little bit of that ping pong component at the bottom that creates that spin. <laughs> like that looked a lot better. There we go. That's right on it. Dude, this is great right here. Really nice move through the golf ball. What did you feel differently on that one? Um, I just kind of felt like what you were talking about. Just a little more connection at the top and then keep the handles forward. Keep the handle forward through just impact. Keep it, just keep it going, you know yeah. what I mean? Rehearsal wise. Mm -hmm. Feel this flex, this turn, this turn together. Yeah. And I would just be just forgetting about the ball and putting that way past the golf ball every single time. Let's just do a couple, couple of these for a minute here, okay? I wanna just do a couple little just impact drills okay. to get you just comp compressing the of it. Okay. Now, all I want you to do, I want you to hold it off, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, hold it off. Right there, okay? Like a okay. direct extension. And what I want you to feel is I want you to feel like there's just zero club head moving past this wrist, right? Mm -hmm. Just completely holding it as best mm -hmm. you can. Should feel like the core is really taking control of that motion. Let me show you something right here that I want you to immediately notice just how much cleaner this is through impact, okay? I want you to see like it doesn't have any swat. You see how yeah, it's just like that's boom. Better. Yeah. So I just feel like if you did, right. but just saying, hey, if you do this and you are to stop the club right here and all that our viewer needs to know, like why would that work? If you stop the club here, you have to have connection throughout the swing to be able to do that. You know, the minute that this thing gets disconnected, the club goes through there like this and you just, you can't stop the momentum of it and it breaks down. So this is a great drill for anybody looking to have a more efficient impact position, create awareness of the club face. It's not an inconvenient time to work on that drill considering you're gonna go play in Europe. Yeah, I'm I mean, sorry. that shot he's hitting right there, if the viewer saw that, you'd look at that and go, well, my God, that's like a perfect knockdown shot. And that's exactly what he should be feeling. Nice swing, buddy. Dude, if we can get a little bit of, a little bit of those, a little bit of that in the swing, mm -hmm. I think you're gonna be right where you need to be to control that face and just at least have everything spinning the way you want to. Yeah, it look, I mean, the flights are looking better on these yeah, shots. Yeah, I mean, hey, for some range balls off the Bermuda grass, mm -hmm. do, do some of those hold offs, really do some of those with the steeper transition and hit, a, and hit like, you know, 20, 30 of those when I'm not around. Right. And then go into your regular, regular swing. And then remember, you can turn more now because your arms aren't floating to the top. So you can make a big turn, all the things that would give you a little more pop to it, you know? But um, I think the big thing is, like you said, it's here. It's some efficiency here and the angle you swing into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. It's better, dude. A big lesson for you would be, hey, keep those connection drills 
Right. Because that's going to be a constant for you. Right. But I will tell you, those connection drills do promote with a better player mm -hmm. being a little bit of a body draw <laughs> rather yeah. than the cut. You're right. Just because it just works around the arc a little bit more. Right. You've really got to work some of those impact drills. Yeah. I really do, man. I'm just being, just being honest. That's just, you know, only watching thousands of swings in front of me. I just would tell you that. Yeah. I just, just, I mean, I just, there's nothing, there's no other way to go about it. It's not like a magic word I'm going to say that's going to go, oh, hey, here's yeah. your 10 miles per hour, you know? Yeah. Um, I would just work on the impact position a lot and just, just punch, punch, punch. Feel, feel a couple just like that. And uh, step away from that drill for a little bit and then get after it. This guy's found something really good here towards the end of the lesson. We worked on connection throughout. Remember how I told you these guys are great and they always find that little thing that they need, that they, they, they know they need? I'll let him tell you. What do you feel, buddy? Um, so I'm a fader, so I tend to be more on top of the plane. And usually my problem is that I get too far over the plane, so they're always kind of working on things to keep me somewhat shallow, so I'm not hitting steep fades. But what I, I felt was happening was I was getting to the top and then just shallowing it out so hard, which is great for a lot of guys because um, you're from this position, you can just rotate, you know, and you're just on plane and you rotate and the ball should be a little fade or a little draw. But for me, because I'm usually steep and then rotate to shallow, now that I'm shallow, I have to steep in the club and then that's causing me to slow down and get the path out to the right and add spin and just not quite flush it the way I want to so just getting feeling like in the transition that it almost like an over-the-top feel um, has definitely brought the flight down and felt like it was just hit more the way I would like it to be now there's about 20% of the golf population out there thinking oh yeah I could feel a little more over the top and be good and there's about 80% thinking dang that would really do me in so remember that's what this guy needs right these YouTube videos are fun because there are some general tips like earlier driver tip you know insides of feet outside shoulders bump the left hip an inch up high be in a position to turn behind the ball that's stuff for everybody there's some stuff that's catered to just specifically the person in front of me it's always going to be so it's dangerous when a person starts to adjust their swing according to what somebody else needed more setup keys connection keys those are big for the viewer but when it comes to that personal thought right there watch out if you're underneath and you're way in here hitting pushes and big draws, that thought's for you, for sure. If not, I would just, and, and, and the way that you can feel that, you know, and this is like for the viewer too, like for a guy who's underneath, I mean, he, he doesn't need it anymore. I did this with him on the first shot. You can just put a ball or two, it's a ball right here. And all that does is just keeps him, I just go eight inches, nine inches behind it inch or two on the inside and he can hit this shot and he should miss that golf ball on the way down no problem if he was underneath he probably clips that ball really good drill for somebody who just needs to cover it more and get their right shoulder moving towards the target okay. 